Alright, what up guys, it's Alex here, and today, or this video, will be a guide on the reputation in Embercy. So this is going to be a detailed guide on it. Not just any guide, but it's a detailed guide. So first off, we'll get started. One of the first quests you guys see here is from this NPC. One of them is called Killed with Fire. It's a daily quest, 3000 reputation. This one, you only can do it once per day, so yeah. And all you have to do is defeat 5 coal creepers, 5 pyridons, and 5 Christians. So here's what they look like. Here are the pyridons. Here are... Let's see what else. Uh, the pyridons, firesin, and the coal creepers. So coal creepers are those um, weird leg dudes. And the other ones are these guys. The vultures. So they're pretty cool. Next quest is called Heat of Battle. This one you have to kill the flame soldiers and the storm scouts. So this one here, I'll accept it since I can actually accept this one. You actually go down one room and then fight these guys. So kill this person once and kill the other guy once. And there you go, you get one of each. And after you do that, you'll be done with that quest. Okay, next quest. In order to unlock Light the Flame, you have to have completed the first quest beforehand. So yeah, it's kind of like a chain quest. So this one, you only can do it once per login. So what does that mean? Pretty much. So after you complete it once, you can't do it again until you relog. So that's pretty annoying in a way. I think it's to stop botters, so I think it's a pretty good measure. So this one, you have to click 22 flames around the map. So you just click these guys here around the map. And then for Living Lava, he is located right here. He looks like this and he's a big giant flame. So yeah, all you have to do is kill them. And that will be done with that quest. And now we are done with all of this guy's quest. So moving on, it's this person right here. Skir Skira. So her quest, Plague by Flames, this one is pretty simple and this one also has the same um, kind of routine as the last one so you, you only can do it once every login. So you need to bring some plants and some fire gobblers. So the gobblers are from the fire center, so these guys right here. And then the Shar Wars are actually a clickable item in the area, so I'll show you guys where it is. Oh, I didn't get it, okay. I'll kill another in a second. But if you go down here, there are some little flowers here. You click on them, and there we go. And you just look for them throughout the map, which are, two of them are usually right there. And then, the last one, if I remember correctly. Let me just kill this fire center so I can show that it drops the bladders and stuff. Do, do, do. There we go. And then for the last one, let me just go to it. wonder if I'm blind. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I was blind. Okay, so the scout was hiding it. My bad. Yeah, I knew they were all here. There we go. There we go. That's all three of them. Man, that one's annoying. Okay, so the next quest after that is called Awkward Pierce. The Firewater of Life. This one, you have to defeat the Paradons again. And this one can only be done once per login. And the other one, you need some water. So I'll show you guys where to get both of those right now. So Pyridons, oh it's not those, it's more the the black, um, darkish monsters over here once I find one. So right here, the Pyridons. So kill those guys and boom, there you go. And here, this one, all you have to do for this one is go around and click all the little, um, water areas so there's... There's one way in back here, there's two here, and you also have to click sinks and stuff, and like, um, let me show you, like see there's like this little fountain thing, and there's a sink, once, I remember where it is, yeah here it is, yeah so that's pretty simple, done with her quest now, okay, so yeah done with her quest, now we'll go to the blacksmith real quick, this guy is pretty cool, and this one, there is another daily quest for 1500 reputation. This one, you just have to defeat the Coal Creepers and the Pyridons. So the Coal Creepers, once again, are the weird legged dudes. And the Pyridons were those black, darkish guys. And so the next quest, how they're that, this one is repeatable. This one, you just have to get some flame feathers and some smoke. So to get the um, flames, I guess, you have to defeat the Firetons and then the smoke. 
you actually had to defeat the Pyro Clashes. So pretty much, the Pyro Clashes are these weird guys right here. They should be dropping the smoke. It's not 100% drop, but they do drop pretty often. And then the other one, the Flame Feathers, you have to fight the Fire Sins until they drop. So there we go. Let me just fight the Cloud guys real quick. And they're savage. He's a beast. Um, There we go. Here we go. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this quest. So we're done with the Blacksmith. Moving on to the next NBC, we'll go to the hair place, hair salon. Okay, so this guy, um, here we go, we have to do hotheads. This one, you have to defeat more Pyridons, and then you have to defeat the Pyre Clashes, and you actually, for the Lava Jewel, you have to fight the Living Lava, so I'll explain, show you guys. So first, the Fire Guys, right? Mm -hmm. Fire Guys, kill him. There we go. Oh, I didn't drop. Okay, Living Lava is where you get the Lava Jewel. Hopefully it drops the next time I kill one of those guys. Okay, so... Oh, it didn't drop. So Power Clash drops the Ash Piles. Hopefully. It's not 100% drop, but it does drop pretty often. Okay, there we go. And then the Living Fire should drop the Lava Jewel. So hopefully I get it right here. Yep, I did get it. And then the Pyridons, which are the Darkish monsters right here. Kill these guys, and you just need six of those. And it didn't drop that time. Let's see if it drops right here. Okay, there we go. And now we got that. So you just have to do that until you get them all. That's pretty simple. Nothing too hard yet. Okay, we'll go on to the next NPC. So following upon that NPC, we go past this room. And now we meet up with the Pyromancer. This guy's a beast. He's like an avatar. Okay, so the first quest is called Nin Nineveh and Purity. So this one, you have... Also this one, you only can do it once per login, so be sure to remember that. This one, you need some burning embers, three boards, and three kindlings from the fire sins. So I'll show you guys where to get those. The fire guys, obviously, are these guys, again. And, um, I'll just kill him real quick, you know. There you go, and you get three of those. And the boards are located over here in the hair emporium. So you just click this board thing three times and then it drops x3 completing that part of the quest then if you go down here you go into the blacksmith you click on the flame five times after you click it five times you get the quest item for it and be completed with this quest so there you go that's pretty much it for this quest easy simple nothing too hard you only can do it once per login you gotta remember that okay so next quest is the fire within this one you gotta do some more killing fires so this one, you have to defeat more of those fire sins, some pyro class, so those storm guys, and then the storm sentries. Their storm sentries are actually those um, uh, what you wanna call it, the soldiers in the very front of the map. So the, these guys should have dropped the pyro class, and these bird um things, I guess, should be dropping from. So yeah, the bird things should be dropping the bones, and there you go, the pyro class drops from the living lava. And then the soldiers are in the very, very, very front once I get there. So you have to defeat the scouts for it, or the soldiers, if it drops. It doesn't drop too often, but let's see if I can get it. Do, do, do. There we go, I got it. There we go. So it drops from the scout. Okay, now we just go turn it in. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And then we have one more NPC to actually do. And here it is, it's the pet girl. So fire, fear, and pet food. This one is really simple as well. Just as they feed those fire sins, those giant legged dudes, and then some of those soldier guys. So creeper, kill one of these guys. Do, do, do. Boom, there we go. And then you have to defeat a fire sin. And doo, 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 there we go. Now you go back to the beginning of the map. So this place has you running all over the place, no, no lie. And then to get the peanuts, you feed the dudes or the girls. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's it. And then once you're done with that, you'll be done with that quest. And so that is pretty much it for this event with all the quests in detail. And so, obviously, to get the best reputation of the state of my before video, you just accept all the quests and do them. And then the quests 
After you turn them all in once, what you want to do is re-log, so change rooms to save your reputation. Then re-log, come back in, accept all the quests and do it all over again and make sure you have a reputation boost active. If you're lazy and you are a legend, you actually, if you guys still have your 20 minute reputation boost, what I like to do is just do all the quests one time, including the daily quests per day, and just kind of doing that each and every day because that kind of, it's more for lazy people, but it's more effective and you'll still get ranked in in a matter of time. So that's my tips for how to get rank 10 in this area in full detail. Hope you guys enjoyed this guide and well, thank you for watching. Well, see ya, leave a comment, like, see ya. <laughs>